Hello, and we are back to another video tutorial from Arvix for Mojo Portal. And we left off last time with creating our first Mojo Portal instance locally, showing you how to do that, downloading it from MojoPortal.com's CodePlex. And so here we have in front of us we the initial default site with the default settings. As you can see, there is a bit of content, a theme that's already been pre-selected. Up here you'll see that we have a home sitemap search register and sign in. So let's go ahead and sign in. Now the default sign in is always going to be admin at admin.com and the password is admin. So we'll sign in. The first place to start customizing Mojo Portal will be under administration and site settings. As you can see, we have our default site title, Mojo Portal. And um, we'll go ahead and go through some of the options that you have here. Time zone, that's obviously very important for ensuring that any content that you want published, like blogs and such, are uh, published at the time zone that you want to reach your target audience. Now skin, skin is a really important thing. That's actually the look and feel that you see. Right now we've got the default, which is art 41 dash wallpaper. Let's take a look at what else we have to offer. Um, let's choose creamy just for the sake of seeing how that looks. Site slogan, we can either change the slogan or simply backspace and leave it blank. Site email from address, this will be important to populate when you're wanting to have a return address for anything such as site registrations, if you're using any add-ons for the contact us form, if you are using anything that is uh, for the e-commerce sections of Mojo Portal, which are add-ons and really very helpful. Site email from alias, uh, as you can see here, site administrator, you can put, you can change that. That's basically the text that will go along with the email address so that uh, if there's a particular filter you want your users to use, say this is uh, our important website, anyway, so content editor, uh, you have a variety of content editors to choose from but usually sticking with your defaults is fine, they're very functional, very useful now, uh, Avatar system, Gravatar is great. It's also nice that there's a, it now been included in Mojo Portal, a internal feature. Now, what's cool about Gravatar is if you've created a Gravatar icon for a different site and logged in and registered under the same email address, you will still be able to use that same Gravatar across multiple platforms, which is really pretty nice if you don't want to have to keep up with what picture was used where three years ago, two years ago, whatever. Uh, now, there's there's a lot of ability to give your users freedom, but sometimes not so much. Allow users to choose editor preference or choose skins if you are invested in your branding or wanting to make sure that you keep a consistent look and feel, you're probably not going to want to select these. Content versioning, absolutely awesome. That way, if you have updated content and need to roll back to a previous version, it's a, mem a history of that content is kept so that you can do so, which is terrific. Content workflow, also great if you've got multiple people in your organization that have responsibility for content. You can create a workflow between users or roles in order to ensure that those people get to have the proper amount of control or limitations on their control for content. Security, we'll go into security for Mojo Portal on a separate tutorial article because there's so much to talk about. Company info, it's pretty self-explanatory. Commerce, again, pretty self-explanatory and we'll go into that on the video tutorial for e-commerce in Mojo Portal. API keys. This is a pretty important one because this is where if you're integrating Bing or Google for searches, you put your IDs here. 
Google Analytics if you're wanting to keep track of your site traffic, uh, leverage analytics for all the really valuable information that it can give you about the people you're reaching and improving your site rankings and all that. This is a this is definitely something you want to remember where this is at. So we've made a couple of little changes real quick. We're going to click Save. And we see the uh, new skin that's been applied, my new site. Uh, it's very light and refreshing, and that's very nice. If you want to use one of the others to see what they represent, we'll go ahead and click there. And we'll just do the same save again. Now, Artist Year is the, the product used quite frequently by uh, Budget Portal authors and creators for creating custom skins. It's a really great tool. It, I definitely highly recommend you looking into it if you've got a certain degree of artistic skill but not so great with the programming or if you just don't want to have to take the time to roll a, a custom Mojo Portal thing from scratch, which is very time consuming, I will completely admit. Now this this blue is blue bit business blue is actually very nice. It'd be a great business theme to start with. As you can see, we now are in my new site. Okay, and let's make a quick run through to show you how to add a new page and new content to your Mojo Portal site. The fastest way is the new page link that's at the bottom of the page on the admin section. Now one thing that you want to try to make sure of is don't use home as your parents page. You want to use root. That way your new page will be a sibling to home, not a child of. Let's see, let's go ahead and say we'll call this our blog. And tab. And notice that the Mojo Portal checked the database, uh, checked to see what was available, and created a friendly URL that matched the page name. This is handy for your SEO scores and to make sure that you present well to search engines and such and it's easier for your users to remember these pages and you. So most of these default settings are just fine included menu, sitemap and such. The only times you're most likely to want to not include in a menu or a sitemap is when you're creating a, a page for promotions or a landing page that you're really wanting to keep a very tight funnel on and you don't want your site visitors to exit that page before they've completed the target behavior that you're looking for. In which instance, um, keeping that page isolated from the rest of the site makes perfect sense. As far as whether or not you show breadcrumbs, that really is reliant upon your UI, your the, your skin preference, your branding, your taxonomy, uh, that's something you should discuss with your designer for your skin. So we'll go ahead and click the create new page. And as you can see that we've got the drop down here. Uh, when you create a new page in Mojo Portal, you have the option to just choose directly from the page new content to put in it. So we'll just go ahead and choose an instance of the blog. And again, we'll title it our blog click add content and there you see we have a new blog instance we will cover all the different features that are available in Mojo Portal's blog in another video tutorial so we've covered how to customize your look and feel with the existing Mojo Portal skins or any third-party skins like those that are available from i7 media and we've also covered how to add a new page and new content to that page. It's quite a lot for one day, so we'll be checking back with you soon with more video tutorials from Arvix for Mojo Portal. Thanks.